Zero turn lawnmowers can range in price from a few thousand dollars to well over ten thousand dollars. However, they are certainly well worth the cost for many homeowners and commercial users. That's because zero turn lawnmowers are faster and more efficient at cutting grass than other mowing methods. But how much should you spend on a zero turn mower? And what kind of quality are you actually getting for your hard earned cash? Well, in this video, I will hopefully help you answer that question by showing you the major differences between a lawnmower that costs $4,000 versus one that costs $7,000. For the sake of this video, I'll be comparing two bad boy zero turn mowers. Now the cool thing about these mowers is that they are both really good for their price point. In other words, both of these mowers are about as good as you can get in their price categories. If you don't believe me, go do the research for yourself. I'm confident that you'll find these mowers among the best for their price. The first lawn mower is the 4K mower and that's the bad boy MZ Magnum with a cash price between $3,900 and $4,400 and the the finance price advertised on Bad Boy's website is $88.44 a month. You have three engine options you can choose from for the MZ Magnum. One is a Kawasaki and then one is a Kohler 22 horsepower and a Kohler 25 horsepower. The second mower is the $7,000 mower which is the Bad Boy Maverick with a cash price between $6,300 and $6,900 depending on what engine you get and what cut size you get and the financing price that's advertised on Bad Boy Boy's website starts at $142.87 a month with approved credit. The engine options that you can choose from for the $7,000 mower is a Kawasaki 24 horsepower engine, a Kohler 25 horsepower engine, and a Briggs & Stratton 27 horsepower engine. Both mowers feature a 3 16 inch 7 gauge steel deck with reinforced edges. Both mowers have maintenance free spindles and a deck dial adjustment system to make raising and lowering the deck easy. Both mowers will have optional 48 inch and 54 inch cutting widths, however the $7,000 mower will have a 60 inch cut option as well. The $4,000 mower has a top ground speed of 6 miles per hour and the $7,000 mower has a top ground speed of 9 miles per hour per hour. Not only will you be able to cut faster on the 7k mower, but you'll also be able to cut for longer because the fuel tank is 6.5 gallons versus the $4,000 mower which has a 5 gallon fuel tank. This next category reveals some of the biggest differences between a mower that costs $4,000 and one that costs $7,000. The $4,000 mower has much smaller front and rear tires, 5 inches smaller in the back, and 2 inches smaller in the front. Also, the width of the tires are different, with the 7K mower having a 12 inch wide tire and the 4K mower having an 8 inch wide tire. What this means is that the 7K mower will handle hills much better, the $7,000 mower will also handle rougher terrain better and ride smoother when compared to the $4,000 mower. The max weight of the Maverick is 1,031 pounds, which is nearly 400 pounds more than the 687 pound MZ Magnum. Since the $7,000 mower is larger all around, it'll also be a bit easier to get in and out of, and will feel significantly more spacious than the $4,000 zero turn mower. Another large difference between these two mowers is the suspension. The Maverick features Bad Boy's Easy Ride suspension technology, which essentially means the mower has rubber dampers between the rear tires and the frame, as well as in the front where the fork meets the frame. The 4K zero turn, on the other hand, features no extra suspension technology, meaning it'll ride less smooth and be more likely to scalp when compared to the 7K zero turn. The differences in engine quality will not vary too much between your standard $4,000 lawnmower and $7,000 lawnmower. When we look at the Kawasaki engine option differences, the more expensive engine only has 2.5 more horsepower and a dual element air filter versus the single stage air filter on the $4,000 mower. Unlike the engine, the transmission quality that you get on these mowers varies significantly. 
you go from a non-serviceable residential grade drive system, the Hydro Gear EZT2200 unit on the $4,000 mower, to a serviceable commercial quality system, the Hydro Gear ZT3200 unit on the $7,000 mower. For heavy users and commercial users, the $7,000 lawnmower will allow you to put in much more hours before the transaxles need to be replaced. However, regardless of what kind of mower you buy, as long as you take good care of it, it should last you a long time. In most cases, the $4,000 mower, the MZ Magnum transaxles, last over 1,000 hours and sometimes as long as 3,000 hours. Which is one of the benefits of buying a new mower since no one has previously used it. Plus, there will be some sort of warranty that comes with a new mower. Interestingly enough, the warranty that comes with these mowers is also different. The warranty that comes on the Maverick is a 2 year or 400 hour warranty, whichever comes first. And the MZ Magnum has a 2 year 200 hour manufacturer warranty, whichever comes first. Meaning if you buy the MZ Magnum and you put more than 200 hours on it in the first 2 years, the warranty will be over. Whereas if you would have bought the Maverick, you would have had an additional 200 hours to use before the warranty went out. I hope this video showed you that there are some significant differences between lawnmowers that cost $4,000 and $7,000. However, depending on who you are and what your yard looks like, spending less might be the best option. Between the MZ Magnum and the Maverick, zero turn mowers by Bad Boy, what you essentially get for the added cost is a lawnmower that runs much faster, can handle hills better, wet spots better, and not to mention you get a lawnmower with the added suspension giving you a cleaner cut and smoother ride. Thanks for watching this video on the differences between a $4,000 zero turn mower and a $7,000 zero turn mower. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. That really helps us out a lot. Hit that subscribe button to receive more videos like this one. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much and consider tapping that bell icon to be notified on when we come out with new videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. God bless.